So potential energies equation is PE equals M acceleration due to gravity times the height delta Y. All right. Now, specifically, we're looking for PE2. So we've got delta Y2. Acceleration due to gravity is always 9.8 meters per second squared. So we don't have to label it with a one or a two. And also the mass of the lady does not change while she's falling. So it's always going to be the 90 kilograms. So we don't have to label it one or two. Okay. So now if we're solving for delta Y2, we've got to get everything else away from this side. So we don't want to touch delta Y2 because it's already in the numerator. We just need to get everything else away from it, okay? So currently, mass and acceleration are being multiplied by delta Y. If they're connected to delta Y2 through multiplication, then in order to separate them from delta Y2, we need to do the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're gonna go ahead and divide. We put MAG so we can cancel these. We do whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. So now we've got PE2 divided by mass times acceleration due to gravity equals delta Y2. All right. So now we're almost uh, at the finish line. Now we just plug in our variables. So we have 16,920 joules divided by 90 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, that equals delta Y2. Now let's go ahead and solve this piece by piece. We're gonna multiply these on the bottom first. All right, so we've got 16,920 joules and I'm actually going to split up this joules into kilogram times meters squared or meters. Yeah, meters squared over second squared. All right. And that's going to be divided by. Uh, this came out to 882 kilograms times meters per second squared. Okay. That equals delta Y2. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what the final number is going to be. So that's 16,920 divided by 882. All right, and that equals 19.18. Okay. But we still need our units. So there are a couple ways of figuring this out. The quick and easy way, we know we're solving for a a height, delta Y, and the units for a height are going to be meters, okay? So we know that the final answer of this actually has, you know, it's going to be in meters, but we want to confirm that. So we're going to have to do some unit analysis. So up top, I've got kilograms times meters squared over second squared, okay? And that's being divided by the bottom which is kilograms times meters all over second squared. So now if we use our keep change flip rule, we can figure out what the final unit is gonna be. So I'm gonna keep the first kilograms times meters squared over second squared, flip or change the sign, keep change, change it to multiplication, and then flip the second. So that'll be second squared over kilograms times meters. So I flip the second fraction. All right, now when I multiply straight across, I'm gonna get kilograms times meters squared times second squared. All of that is gonna be over uh, second squared times kilograms times meters, okay? So now we can start canceling things out. Kilograms cancels out with kilograms. Second squared cancels out with second squared. Now here I've got two meters up top and one meter down low. So if I've got two of these, I can take away one of the M's with one of the M's on the bottom and I'm just left with meters. So my final answer is 19.18 meters. 
That's how high she is when she reaches a speed of four meters per second. Okay. All right. So that was actually a really long video. So we're actually going to just stop there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.